Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 30th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, keeping humanity aware and prepared with space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes. Having a look here the last 48 hours on the sun, looking at mostly plasma filaments for activity, nothing has been thwarted our way. Looking here at an earth to scale. But that was a pretty sizable filament that ripped away on the northern limb. We're going to have a quick look at that. That was massive. About the size of 15 Earths stacked on top of each other. And those sunspot regions do remain inactive. No major coronal holes, Earth facing. No major plasma filaments except for the ones that ripped away northern region, not Earth directed. Looking at another light here, you can see small equatorial coronal hole trying to build. But still, quiet sun right now. Looking here at Lasco, two and three, and you can see nothing has been shut out our way. No major filaments, flares, or CMEs. Looking here, real-time solar wind, we are calm. At about 388 kilometers per second. Slightly elevated from dropping down under 300. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 14. A quiet buzz across the planet right now. We do have quite a bit of activity, seismicity, across North America right now. Looking here, power of 14 amplitude. So yes, look at the last seven days there, but then this is the last 24 hours and we're over 350 quakes now, probably 380, but We've got a swarm happening in Mena, Nevada right now. Over 60 earthquakes in this region. And you can see this is right on the fault line. A couple of them actually. It's through Mena, Nevada. Two fault lines run east and west there. There's also a northern one. So magma channels are definitely active right now across Long Valley Volcanic Field and as well through Mammoth Mountain noted out by Ricky Spence a good friend of mine she also likes to keep updated with the world she posts videos just posted today about Mammoth Mountain in this region having a small swarm as well she shows the seismographs So all of this activity recently, we've got the small swarm there, Mammoth, the swarm happening in Mena, Nevada. But we've also got a swarm, small swarm happening in the geysers. Right up over here. Right in between two fault lines. They're looking at about 20 earthquakes in the Anderson Springs area. Largest being a 2.5 early this morning. So this all started this morning when we had an early 4.7 in Petrolia, California. Right on the Juan de Fuca subdu subduction zone. 
and then that happened one two three swarms there but we're not done yet and now Mauna Loa is swarming so please be ready my Hawaiian friends we really don't want Mauna Loa to go but when we're looking at all these earthquakes in the last 24 hours we're looking at about 30 earthquakes right here on the western flank of the caldera And you can see there's been earthquakes all around the mountain. So let's stay frosty, people. Let's have a look at the earthquake map. Most recently here, 5.2 in Turt, Mongolia. As well, a 4.7 this morning in Italy. Etna is erupting again. As well, a 4.2 reported in Austria. Interesting rare earthquake here, 4.8. North Atlantic Ridge, 4.8. 10 kilometer depth. Small size mystery throughout the Dominican Republic, Virgin Islands. Seems like all the action has gone to the North American plate here. 4.4 Nevada this morning, 4.7 Petrolia. And then look at all the action all around it. So it's definitely where we're zeroed in right now. Looking at a 4.6 there, Loyalty Islands, 4.7, as well at 4.9, reported here, Macquarie Island, 4.5, 133 kilometer depth, that's the deepest the last 24 hours, and the largest, 5.8, reported here, 10 kilometer depth, East Pacific Rise. As well at 4.4 here reported 94 kilometer depth chile and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes definitely something going on at north american plate could it be yellowstone who knows mary Greeley put out some pretty compelling information today on her channel as well about yellowstone rising i'm going to be looking more into that myself Looking here, the last seven days for earthquakes. Definitely keeping an eye on China and North America and Hawaii right now. Iceland's got a continuous magma flow. Has almost completely covered the valley in 10 feet. Looking here, many tornado warnings already through Alabama, Mobile, Alabama. And as well, flood warnings across the United States. Most recent volcanoes being updated. Reventador. Sabincaya in Peru. De, De Cono. Wow, look at all these flood warnings. Fuego, Guatemala, Pacaya. La Sufri, St. Vincent. Sangay in Ecuador. Sinabung, Indonesia. And wow many many flood alerts storm alerts across the world right now through indonesia united states thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by natural disasters especially throughout the united states they've been devastated by extreme weather and extreme flooding parts of eastern canada still reeling with winter Nunavut, Quebec and parts of northern Ontario Manitoba we have no major hurricanes or cyclones to talk about there is one in the forecast for northern shores of Australia speaking of which let's get to the five day forecast Brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. And we're starting out here, Calgary, Alberta. As, yeah, we're going to see some pretty nice spring-like weather for the next couple days ahead of another Pacific system. But it looks like these spring temperatures might hang around. That's pretty exciting stuff. Because we're a week into spring now, and uh, it's minus five outside. <laughs> So yes, cold temperatures to swing right across the United States, up into eastern Canada as well with this very intense low pressure system. 
and very cold one at that. That was almost a hurricane that came from the Siberia, Siberia and raced across North America. Looking here at Pacific, uh, Pacific Ocean, we do have a big system heading towards California coastline and Oregon in the long range forecast. Next Monday into Tuesday, you could have quite a system on your doorstep. Parts of Western Canada, watch for rain and snow. Coastal regions, BC. As far down as Vancouver, you could see snow in the long range forecast. Big high pressure ridge moving in there. Could, could be an interesting development. Speaking of interesting development here, this low pressure system racing up the coastline, United States and Canada, heading into the Hudson Bay. And look at the size of this low pressure system that's supposed to be developing in the five day forecast in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is going to be a beast, boys and girls. And look at the straight line intertropical convergence just beside it as well. Oh boy. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system heading into Portugal and coastlines of Spain. High pressure ridge over the United Kingdom. Most likely going to gobble up that moisture. And then a big low pressure system heading out of uh, the Norway and eastern Finland. You could have a very big weather system on your doorstep, United Kingdom and parts of Northern Europe. Looking through the Mediterranean here, lingering low, finally moving out, scattered showers throughout the region, overlooking Africa, no major weather systems still, five day forecast, mostly daily evaporation rains. Overlooking East Indies and into South Asia. You do have a system heading into Myanmar, parts of Thailand. Could bring some relief to the fires that are burning there. Five day forecast showing quite a bit of rain moving into the region. As well, monsoon rains continue across parts of Indonesia and Malaysia. Now watch for this tropical cyclone to gobble up a lot of that moisture and start to race into the Indian Ocean in the long range forecast. Not only that, but some pretty big systems are heading towards uh, northeastern parts of Australia into New South Wales, down into Brisbane. You could see some pretty intense extreme weather along the coastline. Other than that, high pressure ridge until those systems move into the coast, mostly affecting northern parts of Australia. No major weather systems for New Zealand, overlooking Hawaii, high pressure ridge, daily evaporation rains, no major weather systems there either. But then look at this intense and strong high pressure ridge. See that dark red ring? That's a very strong high pressure ridge. I am very interested to see what it does in the long range forecast. Looking at a very erratic intertropical convergence. Very cold temperatures from this low mixing with equatorial moisture out of Japan. Very interesting days to be alive, everybody. Epic, epic times. And I truly believe that it has a lot to do with our magnetic reversal and the solar cycle that we are going through and the current planetary alignment that hasn't happened in 400 years. Thanks everybody for watching today. Gonna leave you here looking at the very interesting Atlantic and Pacific. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.